film of a moment shooter terminating at the Las Vegas music celebration swarm has surfaced. Around the same time the Clark County Sheriff told a public interview that he accepts there was more than one culprit engaged with the shooting. Inquired as to whether the solitary wolf hypothesis pushed by predominant press was right, Sheriff Joe Lombardo said it was conceivable Stephen Paddock was working out the greater part of this all alone, however then included, it would be hard for me to trust that. In immense news that dishonors the predominant press endeavor at forming the story encompassing the assault, Lombardo said agents are currently squeezing to discover other people who may have been included. Do you think this was altogether expert all alone? Lombardo solicited, noticing the arm stockpile from weapons the shooter amassed, the disclosure of explosives in his auto, and the reports of gunfire at numerous areas in Las Vegas. Sheriff Lombardo included, you must make the supposition he needed to have some assistance sooner or later. Recently surfaced film from the Route 91 music celebration demonstrates a man in a security code holding what gives off an impression of being a firearm, bowing and terminating into the group, as concertgoers shout goodness my god in the midst of the general frenzy. At 8 seconds into the video, a man rises in the base left of the edge, the gag flashes at the correct minute the shots are discharged and the sound of the weapon coordinates the volume of a firearm discharged at that range, and not from the scope of the lodging. The video may clarify why onlookers at different areas on Sunday night portrayed the abnormal sight of security protects being pursued down amid the assault. In news that has by and large gone unreported by predominant press, onlooker Wendy Miller, an Australian discovered up in the shooting, said she was at a bar in the close-by Luxor Hotel with her better half when she saw what she portrayed as a man of intrigue keep running by. Addressing Australian daily paper The Courier Mail, Ems Miller said the man dashed through her lodging in the wake of falling off a lift from the Mandalay Bay. The man that they, security, were pursuing was wearing a security coat like them, she said. Mr. Miller's observer report of a man in a security coat being pursued amid the assault and Kindred Australia Brian Hodges' onlooker record of various shooters and a dead security monitor close to his lodging room nearby to Stephen Paddock's suite, proposed that the predominant press account of the solitary wolf shooter isn't reality. Since Las Vegas police have at last conceded that Stephen Paddock probably had help, we may at long last begin getting something moving toward genuine detailing from the prevailing press. The truth of the matter is this was an arranged coordinated assault by different schemers, and the prevailing press have been endeavoring to cover it up. Video film affirms different shooters. Two unstable recordings gave to your newswire have likewise affirmed there were numerous shooters engaged with a coordinated assault, and the prevailing press of a solitary wolf shooter working without a rationale is a lie. The two recordings demonstrate gunfire starting from the fourth floor of the Mandalay Bay Hotel much lower than the 32nd story, where the prevailing press is asserting Stephen Paddock, a solitary wolf, shot on the group utilizing a programmed weapon. Numerous Las Vegas club staff have likewise offered data indicating the presence of various shooters and plotters engaged with the Las Vegas assault. As per Nadia Gisl, there was gunfire at the Paris Casino. I work there and I don't comprehend why they are not saying reality, she said. Cameron A. Spino, who was in the Miracle Mile shops, likewise requested to know why the media won't provide details regarding episodes at different ends, and announced scene two shooter. Renee Downs, a visitor at Bellagio Hotel, 1.4 miles from the Mandalay Bay, says projectiles were let go into the hall of the Bellagio. She reached police and news outlets requesting to know why the wrongdoing is being concealed and denied. Why is the prevailing press endeavoring to drive a false account on the general population? The appropriate response is straightforward. The corporate media, controlled by a little, first-class theocracy, is working for the benefit of the new world order, endeavoring to deceive people in general into trusting their adversaries are their companions, and their companions are their foes. It sometimes falls short for the prevailing press plan to have Stephen Paddock working as a major aspect of terrific political connivance. The media is currently concealing this reality so they can keep pushing the new world order's wiped out and turned motivation. There is a dynamic battle to sow division and make tumult in the United States.
sorted out gatherings are dealing with benefit of worldwide associations with the most loathsome of objectives. We have to wake up and quit thinking everything nourished us by the prevailing press. They have demonstrated themselves totally traded off and inconsistent. Keep your eyes open. Question everything.